Hi, my name is Caleb Jones, and today I'd like to talk about running shoes. In the year 2021, I got to run in a lot of shoes. Here's a list of all of them. While I'd like to talk about all of these shoes, I've narrowed it down to five of my favorite shoes that I ran in in 2021. And they're in no particular order. But before I get into the shoes, a little bit about myself. I've been running for 10 years, junior high, high school, and even into college. And now I found myself working at a running specialty store here in Dallas, Texas. Working for the store has allowed me to have access to a whole bunch of shoes, uh, which is not only fun for myself, but it's also fun to get to help customers figure out what the right shoe is for them. And now I want to extend that beyond just the store and out to the world. Okay, let's talk about shoes. The first shoe I wanna talk about is the Hoka One One Clifton 7. It weighs 8.7 ounces and has a five millimeter drop. And I put 284.52 miles on it in 2021. If I had to pick one thing that I love the most about the shoe, it's that uh, it's got a fair amount of cushion for being considered what we would call a mid cushion shoe. So not quite a lightweight trainer, not quite a very cushioned, you could say max cushion trainer. It's supposed to be in the middle, but it's lightweight and very cushioned. And I found it comfortable for all 284 of those miles. The next shoe I'd like to talk about is the Hoka One One Carbon X2. It weighs 8.4 ounces, also a five millimeter drop. And in 2021, I ran 163.43 miles in it. Now this shoe is really interesting because when it came out, I was anticipating this being this kind of pristine racing shoe, uh, which is usual of a shoe that have, has a carbon fiber plate running through it. Um, but when I got to try it out, I, I did feel like I could go fast in it, which is how you would feel in a carbon fiber plated shoe but it wasn't quite on the same level of a lot of those other racing shoes. I ended up running as many miles in it as I did last year uh, because I found some pretty good uses for it. My main uses I would say would be long runs or medium to long runs. I just find that it feels good being on your feet for a while and the plate kind of holds the shoe together. So really like this shoe. Um, and then that'll lead me into my third shoe, which is the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel V2. This shoe weighs 7.2 ounces, which is hard for me to believe because that's a lot lighter. It's like more than an ounce lighter than the previous two shoes. Um, I don't know that it feels like that to me, but it is very comfortable and I definitely feel like I can go fast in it. Um, it's also a six millimeter drop and I put 101.97 miles in it in 2021. Mainly what I use this shoe for, especially in the first half of those miles, was purely just the track. I would go to the track and do a tempo workout, just faster miles, and it really felt smooth in this shoe. Um, I like the way it fits. I really like the cushioning. It just gives me good energy return. Um, and yes, even though it doesn't feel as light as it says it is, um, it, it still makes you go fast. So I do like this shoe a lot. The next shoe I'd like to talk about is this, the Brooks Aurora BL. Now this shoe is very fascinating to me because it was a one-off, meaning they released it, uh, well, they released it in the summer of 2021, but it's a one-off in the sense that they're not going to make a follow-up version or an update or anything like that. Um, it's just one of one. and. I was hearing through some other YouTube reviewers actually that this was a comfortable shoe to run in. And it looks pretty crazy, but I wanted to see if they were right. So I got it through our store, got this shoe. Uh, and after some time into the late summer, I actually got myself a pair so I could try them out. And I was pleasantly surprised. It weighs 8.5 ounces and it's a six millimeter drop. And in 2021, I put 327.88 miles in it. Now, I've only put probably 30 or 40 more up until this point. Um, 
30 or 40 more miles on it up until this point, and it's nowhere near being finished. It seems like the cushions really held up almost 400 miles in, which is really cool. Um, so I really think this shoe, I, I'm sad that they're not going to keep making it or that it's, you know, hard to get and basically impossible to get for certain people right now. But I've had an incredible time in this shoe and I can't wait to run hopefully maybe a hundred another hundred miles in it. That'd be pretty awesome. My fifth and final shoe is this. The Saucony Endorphin Pro 2. It weighs 7.5 ounces, has an 8 millimeter drop, and I only put 41.7 miles on it in 2021. The reason this has the least amount of miles out of all of these shoes is because I got it with about a month or two to go in the year, but I got to use it for some key runs, aka races. I used it in an eight mile race, the Dallas Turkey Trot, and then I used it in the Dallas Half Marathon in December. It was just exactly what I needed for those races. As you could have seen in the list of all the shoes I ran in this year, I did run in the Saucony Endorphin Speed too, and I enjoyed that shoe. Um, I also used it for some 5K races kind of leading up to the half marathon, um, but I knew that I wanted just that bit of extra in a similar shoe to what the endorphin speed is and that's why I got this shoe. You know, little lighter of a weight in this shoe than that one and the carbon fiber plate in this is what I really wanted for those races and it really came through. All in all, I would say it's a great racing shoe and I would definitely recommend it. And that just about does it for my five favorite shoes of 2021. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see any in-depth reviews of any of the shoes listed at the beginning, uh, please let me know. I'd be more than willing to go deeper on any of the shoes I didn't touch on today or any of the shoes I did touch on today in an individual review. Either way, that's something I'd like to do going forward, uh, which is to review any of the shoes I run in next. Um, so that can include what I have, but hopefully um, new shoes for this year. Also, if you want to follow me on Strava, I'll put that link down below. Basically, you'll get an inside view on what I'm doing, and I also specify the shoes I run in for each run. Stay tuned for more. This cushion, uh, with also being a lightweighted shoe,